Yeah? Yeah. Hyrule Warriors on the Nintendo ah, that's Wii what U. It's going to be. Yeah. Uh, like many a Wii U game, uh, there's no real reason, aside obviously from the license, for it to be on the Wii U. Um, it's a game that could work on any console, aside from a couple of cool features, which I'll talk about in a minute. But it's a little bit disappointing that the game doesn't really use the console's more unique features. Um, but, you know, it doesn't tarnish the gameplay because this really is excellent. Unexpectedly. Uh, I'm not a fan of Dynasty Warriors. I've played several of them, and this is just Dynasty Warriors and Hyrule. Um, but I, I pretty much adored it. I guess it can only be the aesthetics. I mean, because by all accounts, the formula of that franchise has not been messed with very much here. It's still Dynasty Warriors. I've literally no idea why I found this so appealing uh, when I've never enjoyed a Dynasty Warriors game before. But. I'm going to continue playing it, so perhaps that'll come to me eventually, because at the moment it's a real mystery. I don't know why I got so into this, but... um, First off, the one thing I can definitely say in the negative is that you can tell that this isn't a first-party Nintendo game, because it's occasionally very, very scrappy visually, um, and it doesn't explain itself brilliantly. Like all of the Dynasty Warriors games, it kind of assumes a bit too much prior knowledge. Mm. Um, You can figure it out very easy because it's not complex I mean you run between areas walloping the ever loving shit out of people and then capturing locations and doing so that's the game essentially Um, in relation to it being on the Wii U I can't remember what game I was talking about a few months ago but I was kind of mystified by the fact that it had split split screen co-op in it Mm -hmm. Uh, and one of the coolest things about the Wii U is that it comes with another screen Um, and incidentally that's one of the best things about the Call of Duty games on the Wii U, you can play them online as a twosome. And yeah, you can do that here too. It's got full campaign co-op. One of you on the controller, one of you on the TV. TV. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, it works terrifically well. Admittedly, the visuals can get so grubby that the person using the controller is at a bit of a disadvantage, but it just makes the game even more appealing than it is already. And perfect for Dis- Dynasty Warriors, because when you have two people, you can split up when you have more than one thing to do yeah, sure. um, in addition to the campaign mode which pretty much offers what you'd expect the, the real centrepiece of it is adventure mode where you move around this uh, space that's kind of sectioned off into panels and you control this sort of NES style link avatar and you're walking around like the NES game uh, and you complete loads of short mini missions and some of them involve time constraints you know kill X amount of enemies before the time runs out or kill a boss you know etc etc use mm-hmm. only certain moves you know um, and not only are they really fun, everything you do, uh, everything you earn uh, while you're playing them transfers, you can transfer to your character in the campaign. So having a quick blast on those before doing a campaign level on hard, for example, was a really good idea. Uh, the game's terrific, but on the on the negative side again, there's no way to turn the visuals off on the controller like you can, you know, Donkey Kong, Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Uh, exactly the same as the Warriors Orochi game. You can't turn off that con- the visual. No, thing. yeah, no, you couldn't. Yeah, even if you're, you know, I, I played a stretch of it using the Pro Controller, um, so the tablet's just sitting there, useless. I mean, sometimes the controller parrots what's on the TV. Sometimes it displays a, a pretty useless menu, and weirdly, sometimes dialogue from the cutscenes plays out of the speakers on the controller and not the mm. TV. So there's sequences that I didn't even realise had dialogue, but they because it comes out of the Wii modes. I have no idea what that's about. It's just you know made it feel like it was. I don't know, it just didn't feel like a Wii U game uh, in those moments. Um, and there's also a couple of weird things that, that there are tutorial panels that pop up during combat at the beginning of the game, and they will be very useful for, for players who aren't familiar with Dynasty Warriors. But you skip them by pressing B, and you are hammering B almost all the time. So they pop up for a second and then they right. vanish. Uh, I mean, they're filed away into a sub-menu, but it's a very weird design choice. I mean, it's almost punishing people who may be a little lost. Um, also, there's a, there's this other thing where you can save mid-mission during the campaign, which is very handy, but you can only do that if you don't play any other modes before you return to it, so you can save and then go, oh, I'm going to go play another mode, and it won't let you. It's And again, very weird. It's like the game has a bespoke memory card built into it and it doesn't have any fucking memory on it. It's like, oh, you can make a save, but you can't play anything else until you come back. It's like, well, I, I kind of want to play Adventure Mode. Well, you lose your save then, don't you? <laughs> weird, weird decisions. Uh, but blah, blah, blah. It, the game is so much fun. It really is. I am just not 100% sure why this grabbed me 
but, but, but you know, but it has. Um, I mean, if you're a fan of Zelda but not a fan of Dynasty Warriors like me, don't assume that this won't appeal to you because I think there's a very good chance that it will. It's made me look at Dynasty Warriors in a whole new light and kind of eager to get stuck into another one. So if I have that opportunity, I'm probably going to take it, which is not something I thought I'd ever be saying. But yeah, as far as a complete non-expert in Dynasty Warriors is concerned, this is the best Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors game ever by, by a mile. I just, I thought it was tremendously enjoyable, and I don't know why it suddenly opened my eyes, but I think I like Dynasty Warriors now. <laughs>